everybody, my name is Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel Way Crunchy. I'm about to take these children on summer vacation. Last year was COVID, we didn't go anywhere. No summer vacation. This year we are headed out to Natural Bridge, one of our favorite destinations. Um, we're going to be staying in a little camping cabin and seeing some sights. So come along with us and see what we get into. All right, we done made our drive. We are here at Natural Bridge Caverns. So this is a big, cool, deep cave oh, with stalactites and stalagmites. It's gonna be- Yeah, I wanna go head down. Okay, in a little while. So it's just, it's gonna be a wonder of nature, a wonder of the world. I love these caverns. I've been um, since Tom was little. Um, yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. So, Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. I'm traveling with a nine-year-old and a seven-year-old and traveling with children isn't always really relaxing or a vacation, right? Um, my nine-year-old has been struggling with a terrible, terrible attitude and it just, you know, has you wondering like, how could you be so ungrateful? How could you have such a nasty attitude? Anyway, hopefully he does better, but keeping it real. If you have kids, sometimes I look on YouTube and stuff and I'm like, wow, your kids are so mellow. How do you do that? My kids are not mellow. Maybe yours aren't either. some rocks. Ew. Uh, oh no, Cinder. Clean this. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Mom, what? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing, Z? Mom, what are you doing? What are you doing, Z? Don't get your sleeves wet. Here we are at Natural Bridge Caverns. This is these little souvenirs she has chosen. I'll let them each pick one thing. Tom bought his own thing with his saved up money. Um, but behind me oh, is the buildings they have built up in the little tunnel. Like you go in the gift shop and they have a little video you watch and then they take you down through the cave. And so that big, big building right there is the entrance, the hole in the earth into the cavern. There's my souvenir. What you got, Tom? A spearhead necklace. Very nice. You're gonna look super handsome in that. I know. But I'm not gonna put it on until we get to uh, the campground. Okay. And Zinnia, what do you have? Me. Oh! <laughs> yeah, she's loving it. Um, they have like a little mining thing. You buy bags of sand that has like, I guess gemstones hid in it, and then you put your sand in your little mining thing. But my children are happy just filtering out regular sand from the ground, so. Anyway, we're killing a little time um, before we go in and watch our video and take our tour inside the earth. That's your toy. Right here, 
Why did, why did you well, this room flooded in 1985 from Hurricane Juan and the floor was washed away. So it was never repaired. And, and when it rains hard, guys, for example, from hurricanes, it gets worse. <laughs> Look, we're going to walk around the water to this next room. You guys, if this is not a wishing well, so do not throw any coins into it. You want to keep it clean. Do the well at your house. You drink cave water. You know, you want to keep the water clean. This is where salamanders are born during springtime. So uh, just keep it clean. Hey, now watch your dog. Hail, hail. Oh, Mama, it's me, Jesus. Mama, get it, get it. It's okay, I gave you the kiss. You got a kiss? Yikes. Hey, we can walk on the bridge. Uh, I don't see them. They're probably, yeah, they're probably up there. Oh, my bad. No, that man's my bad. I don't know. There's not many stalactites, it's called the canyon room, and a lot more dull, full of light. Yeah. Yay, we did that. That was so good. I bet when I'd been when I was a little girl and I'd been on a field trip when I was in middle school and then I took Tom when he was little so these natural bridge caverns are just lovely they're just lovely um, really great tour I was nervous at first not really of the caves just nervous that I would get a panic attack and be on an hour-long tour beneath the earth but I didn't it was just so lovely so lovely say thank you about my clothes i bought it yeah you bought your my children have developed thankfulness in their hearts they just gave me a big thank you for taking me to the cave hey, yeah and y'all got y'all's prizes y'all yeah. souvenirs snake. Head, necklace. and a snake. snake snake and, and me and mama now go hotel now we're gonna go to the cabin no hotel it's not a hotel it's a cabin hotel yeah. Oh Lord. Well, I'm not loving the campground. KOA, Natural Bridge. I actually stayed here. You can see that in another video. I'll link that in the description of this video. The last time we stayed here a couple years ago. Our first trip to Natural Bridge, I stayed in a little motel around here. I mean, it was not clean, like, carpet holding aromas of the years gone past. So, I liked it a lot more when I got to the little cabin I stayed in here last year. It was all clean and good and no weird smells. And I gotta say, the inside of our cabin smells like... Day before yesterday's old chopped up watermelon. And I don't think it was cleaned. I don't think it was cleaned since the last people stayed in it. So I had opened up the windows and the door to the air, which is lovely and cool and just a lovely, cool ish summer day. The air outside is just so lovely and pure and clean. So I'm gonna let the air circulate through that cabin. But there was still the tip that, like, I think the people who left, that stayed here last, left the tip for whoever was going to clean the cabin up. So, I don't think it was cleaned. Like, definitely wasn't cleaned. But, you know, it's bring your own bedding and sweep out the cabin your own self before you leave. So, let's let that baby air out. The children have so much energy, you know, we've just done an hour-long cave tour and a thousand flights of stairs down into the earth. Um, they want to go hop in the pool right away, and I just want to take a minute here under these beautiful trees to eat cheese doodles. Taking the children to the pool for the first time, we'll give y'all a cabin tour this evening. swim in a five foot. I can't wait to see you swim. 
Go swimming. You go swimming. See, y'all know the old saying, the children raising children. Put them in water or take them outside when they're fussy. Oh, I'm just talking. Anyway, taking them outside didn't do a thing this time. But putting them in water, putting them in water has worked. I can feel their spirits lighter and therefore mine is lighter. They were stressing me out. They themselves were stressed out and that stresses me out. They just could not wait. The anticipation of the pool. Now they're in there and they're happy and I'm happy. Coincidentally, this is where Zinnia nearly drowned. This is the this is the pool where I performed my one and only lifeguard rescue of my whole life was Zinnia. I mean, she just went under, sunk like a rock. I reached in and pulled her out the pool. I remember I running up to the pool. I mean, I kind of don't remember it, but I, I must have run up and then I must have also skimped my knee. <sighs> Getting in there after. I watched that one like a hawk. Cabin update, cabin update. Airing it out has helped sufficiently. I still recommend the KOA of Natural Bridge. They have a really great pool and playground. And they've got goats now, a couple of goats. Last time we came, they had wild chickens. And then now they have a little goat pen. So we'll go visit those later. Um, but yeah, it's, now it's, get it's a, me a, I'll get me a, a big goat soon. That's all. We're going to go see the animals tomorrow, so watch that video on the Natural Bridge Safari Park. Yeah, I do the show. Mm, fi I, <laughs> I took the kids swimming, and I finally got them to chill and play in the cabin. And I took the kids to go get water. Oh, it's definitely an unplugged vacation, so that's a pro, too. I'm big on that. Okay, so the bathrooms and showers are like communal, so we're going to the bathhouse. These goats are so shy. Mm -hmm. Is it, what are you say, who are you people? There we have it, folks. Campground goats. Mama. Well, Tom has complained about everything he could complain about. <laughs> and begged for just about anything he could beg for. He cannot sit still. He cannot read a book. He cannot play by himself. He cannot swing on the swing. It is trying times out here, mother and this nine-year-old. I forgive. I start over. I forgive. I start over. Well, y'all, dinner was just a wild success. It was so, so good. These are veggie sausages. They're like apple wood, smoked apple wood. I already threw the wrapper away. Tom, will you quit doing that? Um, and Hawaiian rolls, sausages on the fire. Hey, Bob Barbie. And then I brought all the little packets from the junk drawer. Yeah, chick -fil -A sauce, Bob ketchup, Barbie. mustard. And we got a thing of strawberries. And y'all, this is this is rocking my world. This I needed a win, and dinner is a win tonight. It's delicious. Me too. Zinnia, what do you think of these sausages? I swear, these guys cooked up real good on the wood fire. 
It's delicious. I even like it. Mm-hmm. You got any? Mmm, 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 We have gone to the bathhouse and taken our showers and I'm having an allergy attack. Um, I have allergy attacks, a lot of snot, but extremely, extremely itchy eyes. Sore, owie eyes. It's just, it's miserable yeah, when this happens. <laughs> Okay, see. Oh, what a world, what a world. <laughs> what happened? It's been a little stressful today. It's not been perfect, but I love those caverns. Alright, guys. So, we got a moral of the story here. Traveling with children enriches their lives. It gives them experiences. They can see things. But, be prepared that it may not be restful and relaxing for you as the adult. But that's okay. That's what we signed up for, right? Mommies and daddies. I will sleep you. You want to sleep? Mm -hmm. You got your own boat, girl. 